What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's up? What is up? You motherfuckers have missed me, maybe. Maybe, hopefully. Hopefully you guys think about me once in a while. Mm. Let's just say that I think about everybody once in a while. Once in a great while, you know, you gotta come back out of your fucking, out of your cave and get back into that shit you love doing, you know what I'm saying? Like drinking beer. Like drinking beer. Oh, yes. So you guys know that, you know, hmm. I'm damn near double fisting these bitches because I just got back home and I'm in a great fucking mood. Like one of the greatest moods I've ever been. So let me tell you a little bit about what's been going on with your boy Jad Third. So I got to go to a bunch of countries. I got to uh, do some traveling. I went to Korea and Japan. Really? That's it. Then I went to Guam, then I went to Hawaii, and then I came back to San Diego, and uh, here I am. But yeah, I spent five months out at sea, and um, well, let's say that I did uh, quite a bit of online shopping, and quite a bit of in-person shopping. So with that being said, let me... Oh yeah, let me take a hit on my vape. I miss this motherfucker. I didn't really get to take it with me. So, this bad boy here, this is like, you know, keeps me sane on, on land, but underway, shit. He is right. So, with all that being said, I've been away, and um, feels good to be back. Feels great to be back. Feels better to be back than be gone, you know? Um... What do we have here? Let's just get right into it, right? Um, I, I, I just say, uh, hold on to your fucking tits today because there's a fuck ton to go, okay? A fuck ton. This is just the first of many. DJ Squeaky in the family on a mission. So, um, I've mentioned before on other videos that I I really enjoy uh, Memphis uh, hip hop. I think Memphis made some awesome contributions to the game and. This is a, a fine example, right? Um, I'm just listening to it for the first time. This track in particular is on another DJ Squeaky album. The In the Beginning, I think it was called. I don't know. It's a good one, though. But, um, yeah. Let's, um, let's see what we got here. We're going to start with uh, my first trip, which was Japan. Well, it's not the first trip. It was the first uh, place where I bought records. So, I ended up in Shibuya. Out in tokyo somewhere and they have happened to have a tower records is the first tower records that i've run into since fuck i don't know when it's been forever and ever so as you can see there this receipt is in japanese this is basically everything that i bought at tower records in uh shibuya it's like i still got the, the bag it's right there shibuya which is tokyo I don't know what the difference is. I don't know if it's like a district or whatever. I, I don't speak fucking Japanese, so. But yeah, I bought these little slip mats, which are really neat, really cute, fun things to play with. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's dive into this shit. This is what I bought in Japan. Three times crazy. All I know is that they're a Bay group, and um, I don't know. E40s on it, loonies, drew down. I was like, fuck it. I'm down with that. That's a um, that's a bit pricey. I, I you know what I guarantee you that if I would have bought this on like Rat Bay because Rat Bay sells the same album, I probably would have gotten it for a lot cheaper. Um, yeah, see, Rat Bay. So I probably I fucked up, but you know when you're out, you know out being a tourist, drinking everywhere and walking around, kind of like I like to do. You know you do stupid shit. So I wound up buying this one for no fucking reason. And um, <laughs> let's see how that one goes, right? Hopefully it doesn't suck. I'll let you guys know if it sucked. Actually, I might forget that it ever existed. Ultra Magnetic MCs, another one. I know Ultra Magnetic MCs. I got their, uh, the, I think it's their first album, and it was really good. So, off the strength of that one, I decided to give this one a fucking shot. I said, you know what? Let's listen to some more Ultra Magnetic MCs. Cool Keith, who's right there. 
it's a very good wrapper and uh, makes some good shit. So I got a lot of faith that that's a good one. Schoolboy Quebec or Q for the layman's. Um, yeah, I don't know what the fuck all that is. The, it's probably receipts from, oh, that's probably the receipts from Tower Records. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is on the other one. Yeah, we're just going to ignore that. <clears throat> Forget that ever happened. Um, this is his last solo album. It's called Blue Lips. Haven't heard it. In fact, the last three, the first three albums that I'm showing you, it, you know, except for this one. Actually, no. The first four records I've never listened to, but I'm going to. I got two weeks to leave, and uh, I got a lot of time in my hands to sit around and bump records. Tonight is the first of many nights. So, um... Yeah, Schoolboy Q, he's from uh, TDE, TDE, fucking uh, Kendrick Lamar's little crew, which, uh, keep in mind Kendrick Lamar, because he will come up again, so, uh, yeah, uh, I, I don't know, I saw that one being heavily shown on the Hip Hop Vinyl Spinner, so, I decided to give it a shot, and I like some of uh, Schoolboy Q's shit, Benita Butcher, um, I'm just going to be honest with you. I've never listened to this one either. Butcher on Steroids. Uh, this one, I just bought it because of the cover. I, I'm I'm a Sopranos fan, so it really caught my eye. And uh, yeah, you know, there's Tony Soprano right there. Mr. James Gandolfini. And um, I'm curious about this album. A lot of this shit, I just bought it out of curiosity. I'll be very honest with you. I had a lot of leisure time, uh, a little bit of money to spend, and well... That's what we did. Went out and bought some fucking records. DOC, this is a single. Um, don't know what the fuck is. I don't know why the DOC was putting out music in the 90s. Like, the dude has no voice. But we're going to hear what the fuck that sounds like. <laughs> How to be a player. Movie from the 90s. Uh, it's Bill Bellamy. I don't know if you guys remember Bill Bellamy. He was a MTV VJ. VJ, this uh, video jockey. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of a lot of the '90s heavy hitters. Like you got Junior Mafia, EPMD, fucking Troublesome, the original Tupac uh, Troublesome, which is really the reason why I bought it. Uh, let's see what else. Drew Hill, Foxy Brown featuring Drew Hill. I don't remember that song, but it's DMX. Hey, Ja Rule, fucking Too Short. Sugar free. I'm talking like fucking big time heavy hitter motherfuckers. So we'll see how this one goes. I, again, never heard this one. Don't remember. I, I know the song Trouble Song from Tupac, of course. Oh, this is just some classic shit. This one I bought it because it's an original pressing. And uh, I, I don't know if I had it. I was like, I don't know if I have this. So I just decided to buy it. It's, you know, classic fucking early 80s hip hop. Um, Oh, look, there's uh, Russell Simmons before all the accusations. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, Curtis Blow. My fucking Curtis Blow. Pioneer. Much respect to Curtis Blow. Main Source. Another one I've never listened to. Fucking kill me, man. I Honestly, I just buy shit because I, I love, I love hip hop. So uh, this one is in a, it's a Japanese pressing of uh, the science. And, uh, yeah, you know, a uh, fucking large professor never comes, ne never, never does anything wrong. So, this is some shit that I'm looking forward to bumping. Especially because, uh, you know, Japanese pressing stem to have really good quality. Um, again, this is probably something that I could have gotten in the States for cheaper. Maybe, hopefully, I don't know, who cares. Uh, but I have it now, and uh, that's what we're gonna do with it. Oh, shit, Mr. Hmm. Cheers, by the way. Motherfucking cheers. Fabulous. Real talk. So this one, I actually have heard. Um, I was never a big fan of Fabulous. Um, however, this has my favorite Fabulous song, which is Breathe. I have the single for it. But when I saw this, I'm like, you know what? You don't really come across Fabulous albums out in the wild too much. So I decided to go ahead and give it a give it a purchase. This actually was the first one that I grabbed out of the rack. And I was like, oh, shit, fabulous. 
Um, yeah, Fabulous. He had a he had a couple of cool tracks now that I remember. And Breathe is by far the best one. This is an original pressing too, so I don't know if it ever was repressed. So, but yeah, that's uh, part one. We're gonna make the Japan trip part one. But yeah, those slip mats, fucking sick, bro. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little pause here and uh we're gonna go into part two i'm gonna try to keep these at about 10 minutes and um hopefully there'll be you know about 10 to 15 minute episodes for this one fucking uh video that i'm gonna make for y'all i know you motherfuckers don't have a long attention span some of you guys do some of you guys don't but you know if i upload a video that's more than 10 minutes it's gonna take like three days and i don't want to fucking have my phone stuck for three days so yeah, I'm going to pause, and we're going to go into part two. All right? So see you in a bit.